It also says, he shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. Every tear you have is gone. Every pain you have is gone. Every doubt you have is gone. It's all gone. It's all made new. Everything is made new through Christ. We are reborn through Christ. The day we make it into heaven, all tears are gone. Every pain is gone. All the pains erased, all the tears is erased. Peace. Perfect peace. Thou shalt hunger no more. Thou shalt thirst no more. He shall lead us to live in waters. He shall wipe every single tear from our eyes. Gone. There's a song. <laughs> I've always heard there's a land beyond the wildest dreams of men. Think of the most peaceful place you can think of. Think of the most peaceful time you have. And multiply it by infinity. And you've halfway got heaven. The ultimate peace. The ultimate love. The ultimate is just unreal <clears throat> every tear shall be erased every fear shall be erased no more fear no more pain no more tears the day we get into heaven peaceful you're going to be in heaven you're thinking right now why not just give up you're thinking right now there's nothing here for me you're thinking right now all this life's gotten me is pain. All it's gotten me is tears. All it's gotten me is hurt. But think of the day you get in heaven. All the tears shall be wiped away. Everything shall be made new. No more pain. No more fear. Perfect peace. Heaven will be worth the journey when you get there. You'll be sitting here thinking. You'll be in heaven thinking. Every The time I got my heart broke was worth it. The time I fell and got back up was worth it. Every pain I went through, every time my heart's been broken, every tear shed was worth it. When I get into heaven, everything is perfect. When you get where you're going, there's only happy tears. Tears of joy run down your face. The bad tears, the broken tears, the hurt tears, the fearful tears is all wiped away and replaced by tears of joy. What a day that will be when we step on the streets of gold. I want to be the first one in. I want to be the first in line. I want to be the first one through that gate. Perfect peace. You know, those of you who's really felt God, who's really, really felt God, I felt Him. It's just unbelievable. But you just, you can't stop. You gotta feel it. But that is only, it's only just a little peek. It's only just a little taste of His glory in heaven. We put our trust in Christ. We felt, we feel His Spirit in our life. It's truly, it's only just a taste. Just a little peek of His glory, of His mercy in another place. No more tears, no more pain, no more fear. Heaven. You look up, ultimate peace. You look up, ultimate happiness. You get heaven. You're thinking... Those of you who's married, dating, you're thinking, you can't be any happier. You're thinking, this person made me the happiest person in the world. I can't get any happier. Wait till you get to heaven, buddy. You will be way happier up there in heaven than you ever will be down here. Every happiness you get, no matter how happy you are, no matter how peaceful you are, it's nothing compared to how happy, how peaceful it is in heaven. Nothing compared to it. The Bible says in Hebrews chapter 9 verse 27, And it is appointed unto all men to die, but after this to be judged. We all die one death. We all die one time. But some people die the second death. We get thrown into the lake of fire that is the second death. People suffer the second death. But see, the thing that I don't get about this, about people going to hell, is Jesus came to stop it. 
Jesus came to save us. Jesus came so we can be washed clean with his blood. Jesus came so our sins for, can be forgiven. Jesus came so all we had to do was call on his name and he's there. Jesus came to save us. Jesus came for our place in heaven. Jesus died for my space in heaven. Jesus died for your space in heaven. Jesus came, he died so we can have a better tomorrow. Jesus came and died so we can have ultimate peace. Jesus came and died for every tear to be wiped away. Jesus came and died for every fear to be left behind. Jesus came and died so we don't have to be hurt. Jesus came and died for when we do suffer, when we do get hurt, we do not have to go through it alone. That is why Jesus came and died. And people still go to hell. People still ignore him. People still sin. People still turn him away. People are still suffering. I know you're going to suffer. Everyone's going to suffer, but you don't have to do it alone. You don't have to suffer alone. You don't have to be hurt alone. You don't have to be in pain alone. And people are because they will not open their eyes and accept Jesus. They will not call on Jesus' name. And I don't get that. Jesus came so we have a better tomorrow. Jesus came so we don't have to go through anything alone. And people are not accepting him. People are not letting him in their heart. People are not letting them in their lives. And it, it's just... Stupid. It is stupid to not accept Jesus. People saying, well, this was stupid, or this was stupid, or, you know, you read this, you read this, there was, I was so stupid. Well, the stupidest move you can make is turning away Jesus. The stupidest move you can make is having a chance to be saved, having a chance to call on Jesus, having a chance to be reborn and turning away. That is the stupidest move anybody can make. It's just stupid. I bet you every every person in hell, every person who's dying the second death will love a chance to hear what you're hearing right now. Will love a chance to watch what you're watching right now. Will love a chance to go to church on Sunday. Will love just one more time to read the Bible. Will love just one more chance to hear the Word of God. Will love one more chance to be saved. But it's too late for them. It's not too late for you. You say, I can put it off to next week. I can put it off to tomorrow. I can put it off later. I can put it off to the next video. You don't know that. We only have one life, one chance, one time around. You never know when will be your last. A boy, nine years old, died of cancer. A little girl fell off the trampoline. They didn't know if, they were gonna, if she was going to make it or not. Eight years old. I told this a lot. My cousin, not even a year old, was in surgery. Had 2% chance of living. We didn't know who was going to make it or not. You never know when it will be your last. Well, you could take your last breath right now. Anything can happen. You never know. I can die right here, right now. I could breathe one more breath, and that'd be it. You could have one more breath in you, and that'd be it. You may not wake up tomorrow morning. You may not even get to go to sleep tonight. You may die before you go to sleep. If this scares you, it's a scary thing. If you took your last breath, if you died tonight, where would you spend eternity? Eternity is a very long time. We're only on this earth for a short period of time. We're only on this earth for a season. Seasons were not made forever. Seasons was made to pass. But will we wait? Will we open our eyes? If we open our eyes in heaven, or if we open our eyes in hell, that is eternity. That is forever. There's no escaping. You go to hell. You cannot get back. There is no return from hell.